está. No estamos hablando. No. Estamos prudentemente callados todos. Estamos esperando a que alguien más se junte. Hay un chat aquí. Esther, si quieres, hablamos poco a poco. Empezamos. Me parece muy bien. Um, as we said uh, uh, before, uh, thank you very much uh, to everybody. Thank you to the commercial attache um, of the consulate. Thank you very much uh, to the commercial director of the Port of Tarragona, to the manager of the Port of Tarragona, to all the team, um, the Eco Logistics, And uh, for sure, also the key account manager in Spain, Juan Jose and Miguel Carmona, dear members and guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy and honored to welcome you this morning to this webinar organized by the Spanish Turkish Chamber of Commerce. We're happy to talk about the new service. We're very happy that this was created and set in place. And I'm sure that this will increase the commercial interaction between Turkey and Spain. Um, we already, um, we know, and, and you've been providing that info, that more than 200 requests for information per year uh, we receive in the, car, in the chamber testify that there is a need, there is a will, but we want to communicate, commercially communicate with Turkey, between Spain and Turkey, and we consider uh, that this is a big step. Um, as the president of the Turkish Chamber of Commerce, I would like to express my gratitude to all our speakers today for accepting this invitation. We organize this uh, with a lot of joy and we're happy that your participation and presence uh, with us today. We really appreciate it uh, very much. Thank you also always to the team organizing this um, and to the people both from uh, the, the Puerto de Tarragona and the logistics uh, for organizing this. Tarek, you are the best. Thank you for getting all this together. I know you're nervous now, but it will be fine as usual. And uh, let me include also um, a little information on our Spanish Chamber of Commerce. Um, we established the chamber in 2011 to promote and develop the economic and social relationship between Spain and Turkey. And as of today, we have more than 100 members uh, from all sectors, both from Spain and from Turkey. And I'm proud to announce Uh, that we are a significant uh, uh, player in this uh, and a reference point for sure between the both countries and the day-to-day -day business and commercial activities. We invite all of you that are not members yet to join. It is very interesting. We are a platform to communicate. We help, we assist, we do our best. And this is exactly one of the things that we uh, are here for to promote this. 
So thank you very much to everybody. Thank you. Um, shall I continue, uh, Esther? Uh, thank you very much for your uh, introduction. And thank you very much uh, for the organization of this event. Uh, I'm glad that we have united our forces to uh, reach as much audience as uh, possible. And um, uh, well, we are here today um, to, uh, to have an informative session about the new rural line uh, between uh, Port of Izmir and uh, Tarragona. And uh, it's, 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 uh, it's worth to mention that it's a very, very important development uh, for the trade of uh, both countries, especially given the, give, given the current circumstances where logistics, the importance of logistics have increased even more. Uh, so um, before we go to the, the exciting part with all the information and all, uh, I'd like to give a brief, uh, brief um, information about our trade volume and the sectors and uh, the importance of the logistics within it. Uh, well, um, when we have a look at our uh, trade with Spain, uh, I'm glad that we, we have already have strong uh, trade uh, commercial ties. And uh, despite some uh, of the decline in 2020, our trade volume has reached uh, 10.5 billion euros. And uh, despite the COVID, we also had uh, many high level ministerial uh, meetings uh, between two countries where the leaders have agreed to uh, increase this trade volume until, uh, up until uh, 20 billion uh, euros. Uh, well, uh, it seems to me that uh, given the high potential uh, between countries, this, this, this target is not so ambitious to reach and uh, I'm sure um, we will reach it soon, especially given the, uh, the, the, these uh, positive developments. Uh, when we have a quick look at our exports to Spain, uh, we see that uh, textile and uh, clothing uh, is, is uh, really important in our exports and with a 43% uh, of share. Uh, well, this sector is serving to fast fashion in Spain and uh, fast delivery and on-time delivery is, uh, is really crucial. So this development is really important for, this, uh, for our exports in that sense. Uh, the second uh, and most important sector in our export is uh, automotive and automotive parts. Um, it's important to note that given our customs union relationship, uh, we are not only exporting automotive parts, but we have a highly integrated production, uh, production uh, in the automotive sector. Turkey and Spain are both producers uh, in that sector, but we are providing also automotive parts. Uh, for uh, each other's production. Uh, in that sense also, it's really important, uh, the logistics. Uh, the, uh, our uh, exports is also followed by iron and steel and uh, chemical uh, sector. Um, when we have, we have a look at our imports, we see that uh, chemicals and automotive uh, has a share of 25% uh, is really important, uh, followed by uh, machinery, uh, textile and clothing and iron and steel. Uh, it's important to note that um, Turkey uh, has a, a trade surplus uh, in its trade with Spain and uh, almost uh, two, 2 billion uh, euros, uh, even more than 2 billion euros. And this is uh, mostly uh, thanks to our exports uh, in uh, textile and clothing sector. In that sense, um, it's, it's, it's an important development to follow, but uh, we, uh, we see that um, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic, there is a change in uh, tendency uh, in most of the European countries uh, where the countries uh, are also uh, started to look uh, for uh, providers, uh, for, for trade partners in, the, in their closer proximity, uh, because we have seen that after this pandemic, uh, providing and trading with uh, Asia might be uh, difficult uh, sometimes, uh, might have more compli uh, complications. Uh, so uh, we see that uh, not only in textile and clothing and automotive sector, we, we see that there is a high uh, potential in many other sectors that we are going to have uh, uh, a much 
bigger uh, trade uh, volumes, uh, not only with Spain, but also in Europe. Um, uh, I, will, I will just uh, give a brief information about the modes of transport in our trade with Spain. Uh, we see that with um, more than uh, half of our uh, trade uh, with Spain is uh, carried through maritime transportation. Uh, and in that transportation, automo automotive sector, chemicals and iron and steel uh, has a, a high share. Uh, while on the other hand, the 38% of our um, trade between Spain is carried through road transportation. But it's important to note that these, uh, the road transportation here uh, is not only, uh, the, 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 the trucks is not uh, taking most of the time, it's not taking the long route from Turkey to, uh, to, to Spain, to Europe, but most of the time they're also using the rural lines and then uh, uh, coming and reaching to Spain. Uh, in that sense, um, this uh, uh, direct rural line, line between uh, Turkey and Spain is really important in that sense, especially given the fact that uh, most of our uh, half of the road transportation is carrying our textile and clothing exports. Uh, we see that there will be uh, 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 the fast with the faster delivery time. Um, Turkey has get, it will, uh, gain a, a higher significance in terms of um, a reliable provider uh, in the closer proximity of uh, not only Spain but also uh, Europe. Uh, so, uh, well, I will. I don't want to um, say uh, much more, and uh, I would like to give the word to. Um, uh, to the port of Tarragona and to Ecologistics to give you uh, about more in detail. But I'm leaving here uh, the information of our offices uh, here. Uh, we have, uh, I'm, I'm in the Barcelona office and we have an office in Madrid. We will be at your service uh, in case of your uh, further questions. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, very interesting and uh... Thank you. Thank you for all this. I'm sure all our uh, uh, partners will enjoy talking to you for every question, every doubt, everything. The office is very helpful for all the investors in both ways. Thank you. Shall I? Tarek? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, think uh, I know this is the moment uh, for you to present the project. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you very much to the Chamber of Commerce of uh, uh, Spain and Turkey and of also the official commercial office uh, in, in Spain, no? um, to the Alif. And, and personally, also a big thank to Tariq because without him, we, would be, we wouldn't be here. No? So thank you very much to all of you and to all the attendees today in the, in, the, in the day that we are sharing with you this new service and this new, uh, uh, I would say, competitive service in the Mediterranean area linking Turkey with Spain. Um, it's been nice to have this the, no, a short presentation about the exchange, uh, commercial exchange with, uh, between Spain and, and Turkey, because as uh, Elif uh, told us, uh, no, nowadays, we are all seeing uh, a relocation of uh, of the industries getting to the closer to the to the country that the 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 goods are being consumed, and uh, I will also say that uh, you've been noticed uh, that we had a, a big problem those days two days ago with the Suez Canal, and that uh, shows up no even more that uh, we have uh, we are very dependent on the the deep sea logistics and that we should uh, uh, get closer uh, our relationships and have a reliable uh, relation among the countries that we are in the Mediterranean area. So to be able to continue to supply to the different uh, consumers, yeah. I would uh, like to share my presentation. Tariq, I think that you have to allow me to do, though, to do so. Okay, thank you. And the presentation. 
someone can answer if you are seeing it. Okay. Okay, I would say that uh, as I was telling you, this is a, a Roro service uh, and here we can find the different um, partners that they are, no, that they, they made possible this service, which is uh, the shipping company DFDS, the, the ship agent, which is Arola, and the terminal it reports jointly with uh, the main uh, logistic operator uh, of this service, with, of this service, which is uh, a call logistics and uh, as a lift uh, no, announced before this is a, a roll roll service uh, roll on roll off which is uh, means that is uh, carrying uh, trailers and trucks uh, between Spain and Turkey and vice versa this is a, a has a very short uh, transit time which is uh, just uh, two, and a, uh, two and a half days of transit time port to port if Mir to Tarragona, which complements as a, an intermodal service a total supply chain in, uh, in uh, between Spain and Turkey in 96 hours, and even if we are looking you know, to further uh, countries nearby as Portugal or uh, Bulgaria or you no know, other countries in the uh, countries in the Baltic area, we, you could see that we are uh, achieving there in just 144 hours. The frequency of the service is weekly. We have a, a connection uh, with the vessel leaving Izmir on Sundays and achieving Tarragona on Tuesday evenings. And the departure from Tarragona to Izmir is uh, on Wednesday evenings. Always uh, with uh, the same time at the different uh, ports. And as an intermodal uh, service, this is a door-to-door -door service, which connects, as I told you, the, the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal, with uh, Turkey and the adjacent countries that are uh, to Turkey. If we focus on the, the different uh, um, aspects, no, that uh, we compare it with uh, container ships, uh, vessels, or with road uh, services, no, linking Spain and Portugal, we uh, and Turkey, sorry, we could see different um, no, um, benefits from this service. The first one is the transit time, as we were say, talking. We are saying that door to door service could be done in four days. And if we compare it with a container ship vessel, this would be we will be talking about 13, 14 days. Or even if we are thinking, no, uh, linking Spain to Turkey by road, we could say that this would be in around seven days. Another benefit and, and advantage of this service is the cost savings of this door-to-door -door service, which is uh, if compared with the road, it's about 25% of, uh, of savings in, in, the, in the cost. The equipments and goods that can be uh, transported in this uh, vessel are containers of 20, 30, 40, 45 uh, high cubes over platforms as it's a rural service. Trailers, of course, ISO tanks over platform, river cargo allowed, and IMO and hazardous uh, cargo. It's also allowed to be loaded in the vessel, and an industrial and mobile machines cargo can also be in the in this service. Other aspects uh, very important are the custom process. We could say that the, with this door-to-door the -door service, there is only one custom control point, which would be in Itmir or in uh, Tarragona, uh, versus the three or four border points uh, if you go by road. And as you know, in Bulgaria or even in, in Greece, there are a lot of uh, no, traffic jam uh, caused by this custom control. So the, from those seven days that, uh, by road, we would say that you could add one more or eight days because of those uh, no, um, very congested uh, custom points in those countries. Uh, we could also say that in this service, the advantage of, uh, of this service is that all the agents involved in the service, the ship company, the ship agent, the uh, Logistic operator and the terminals are uh, the the figure OEA, which is uh, the authorized economic uh, operator 
known in the in the customs administration in Europe, and that uh, allows the flow of these documents and the cargo to be able to achieve the different points without many controls, as if you are not this figure recognized by the custom administration. Other big uh, saving is the environmental savings that you have with this service, because if we compare it by road, there is an important diesel savings in both regional and national roads. So we could say that also we have a, no, a sustainable um, service compared by, by the road service that could be done. And another big and, and, and important point is the operational part in the ports, in the terminals. As uh, Elif said before, this service started with the, the you no know, to, to achieve the needs and to, to gain all the uh, needs that the textile ser um, sector needed, which is a, a quick service linking their production in Turkey to the points of uh, selling in Spain. So that means that we had to be very quick by by uh, not going by crossing the Mediterranean Sea, but also very quick to get into the industry, even uh, in Spain or in Turkey. That's why the compromise for the no for the terminals and of course for the port uh, authorities, in that case the port of Tarragona, is to achieve an, a quick, safe, and optimized operation at port. And we uh, could say that in just three hours, trailers are able to leave the port on the way to the industry. And this is a very competitive uh, service because it's a very optimized uh, operation in both parts, in the port of Tarragona and the port of Izmir. And then the last but not the least is the one, I would say that one of the most important points for a big uh, and range of uh, industries among Spain and and and, no, and neighbor uh, neighbor um, companies and also in Turkey is the optimal uh, local and regional haulage. That means that we are allowed to with this intermodal service to uh, carry more than uh, forty tons per uh, unit of transport. Uh, achieving 44 tons per unit, per container or per lorry, and within a radius of 200 kilometers. This is very important because most of the uh, industries, they have to, they have more um, space in the containers and in the trailers, but because of the limitations of the road transport, uh, they they can only you know, uh, transport 40 tons per lorry. In that case, as it's in the mobile door-to-door -door service, the in a no, within a radius of 200 kilometers from the port areas, you are allowed to carry 44 tons per uh, unit. So this is a very important point to take into account. And now this is the part of uh, ecologistics where they uh, no. Uh, summarize their service and their view and the strategic view that they have to develop this service and others in Europe linking Turkey. And I would like, if uh, you don't mind, to invite Alpio to talk about their vision and their service. Alpio. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, Genoa, thank you very much for this uh, nice presentation. Uh, I want to thank uh, the Chamber of Commerce, especially Yasemin, which is with us uh, in, in supporting us since our uh, beginning of operations in Spain. Um, Elif has made a very clear picture and, uh, and uh, pragmatic picture of what is uh, the, the importance of the two countries uh, in their tradings, but also we have to consider that Spain and Turkey has become very important suppliers for all uh, uh, big uh, car manufacturers in, uh, in Europe. And uh, Turkey has raised his quality to, quality to a very important level. Years ago, we were uh, asked from big accounts to understand the new concept of buying short. This is why Elif is it, is, it is completely right what you mentioned. Nowadays, 
all big customers are suffering the delays in production in China. Some speak even of more than 80 days of delays. And uh, this is why Turkey as a service supplier and, uh, and production country has uh, become um, really a key player uh, to provide together with uh, Morocco the two main countries of the buy in short concept. So thanks to our founder, Mr. Ahmed Musul, which is uh, listening to us, uh, seven years ago, uh, we started this fast vessel operations already from Turkey, as Elif men mentioned, uh, to, to, to France, to a very small port uh, to set. The second step was to invest in a own port in Yalova, uh, which has given a lot of flexibility and, uh, and going away from the crowded ports and uh, giving this fast service. Tarragona has been a project which we work with Genoa together since three years and which is supported by very big customers. And now the dream has really come true that what is produced in textiles, for example, but not only in textiles, because we have seen many other sectors, which Elif already mentioned, they still produce uh, till, till the weekend. And to say that this arrive uh, on time on a Tuesday in a fast vessel and able to be delivered in Spain already on Wednesday gives the, the, the Spanish uh, producers and companies all the guarantees which, which they need. We shouldn't forget that, for example, the biggest textile uh, retail company of the world is located in Spain. And it's not only to uh, deliver the goods to their shops in Spain, but also the on carriage then from, from Spain with their own charter services all around the world. Um, Elf mentioned the maritime uh, business uh, in the short, the short sea, which is also suffering similar uh, problems than, 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 than other uh, sea services due to the high quantity of volumes we are all experiencing uh, in this period. So we are trying to change the market and to allow um, the customers to go with this fast Roro concept we shouldn't forget that the inf inflation of uh, the Turkish lira, the high bank interest in Turkey, etc., are some things which are uh, challenges for the customers. And we want to help them uh, selling and buying in smaller portions and being faster in the concepts, trying also to save on log logistics costs, on, on handling costs, on, on, on storage costs, binding the capital. Um, this is what we have in mind uh, with this new concept. Uh, fortunately, Ecole Spain, with its operations, has more than 3,500 active customers and have a daily service uh, to all and from all Europe, which gives them the customers what Genoa has presented here, this one-stop shopping concept. Whether it is Russia, whether it is Germany or it's Turkey, the customer can have all service solution and can even make triangle concepts. Um, we have experienced in the first week a very high uh, service uh, quality. We need still to improve from the customs part. This is something we have to work with the customs authorities, that the documentation has to be um, very fast prepared because the information nowadays, as you know, needs to travel much faster than the goods itself. We have experienced this, for example, with England where many companies has uh, faced a big problem with the Brexit, whereas Ecole uh, provides that the custom information is traveling by EDI com communications faster than the goods to provide a very smooth uh, uh, service quality. Coming back to the Turkish-Spanish service, which we are here together to, to, to see this today, um, we have several locations in Spain in the most important cities. So we are able to provide concepts um, in all production areas for whatever is needed. Uh, our team will be, uh, uh, it will be a pleasure to assist you, whether in Turkey or in Spain, uh, where we have what the customer needs in terms of transport and customs concepts, uh, but we can also assist uh, with other things. So thank you very much for giving us this time to present our product. As we always say, this is something 
which needs to be a teamwork. So the Port of Tarragona is, is really uh, engaged with this. We appreciate what the Chamber of Commerce is doing. The customers are supporting a lot. We need the customs. If we do a strong teamwork all together, this will definitely change the market, will increase the competitivity of uh, the shippers in Turkey and also the buyers, which are important buyers because they resell also to other countries. And uh, this is our aim, to support everybody in these difficult times. And last but not least, consider that Aurora service is also the advantage when we speak about the pandemic. The drivers don't need to travel together with, with the trailer. You do the on carriage and uh, deliveries with local drivers. And so we are also not linked to bank holidays in France, which very often uh, creates difficulties to fulfill the transit times because, you know, there are striving restrictions. So a big list of big advantages of this project, which is a huge investment once again, but we really believe that altogether we can succeed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Alfio. And also we would like to thank to Mrs. Uh, Genoveva. We all appreciate your intervention and collaboration with us. We know uh, after the service will be much easier transportation between two countries. Now, if you want, we are going to hold a question and answer session with the participation of the Port Tarragona beside Mrs. Genoveva. Also, we have Mr. Jordi Angles, is commercial manager, and also with the participation of the Ecologistics, we have Mr. Jose Sanchez, he is commercial director in Spain, and also he will be, uh, there will be Mr. Miguel Carmona, he is the key account manager in Spain. And now we are receiving the questions. I will read the first question for you. It's, um, a truck, a truck can go directly to the port of Tarragona and buy the ticket and get on the Roro. He says, naturally, if there is ability. Hello. So if there's an if you want to answer the question, or we can pass it to another question if you will. Sorry, can you repeat? I didn't hear it. Sorry. Could you repeat it? Of course. Uh, the question was, a truck can go directly to the port of Tarragona and buy the ticket and get to the Roro. Uh, we can hear you. I'm yeah, talking yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, the truck could get uh, into the vessel with the previous res reservation to the ship agent, which is Arola. Okay, so the, the, the trailer cannot get in the port to no without uh, knowledge uh, from uh, the ship agent and from the terminal. So the port, you need to book the, the slot before. Before means uh, days before, no, it could be the same day. Okay, so it's, it's, it's agile and flexible, but you need to inform uh, the ship agent, which is Arola. The contact person is Josep Fego, and the email, I can write it in the, in the chat, so you have the, their email contacts, or I can send it to you, to Tarik, and, and then you can send this information jointly with the presentation to the attendees. Okay, thank you for your response. I think it will be very clear for for the person who asked the question. Now, the next question is allowed 44 tons is included. Truck weights is asking if he is right. 
This is 44 tons. Uh, so you, you can load on the truck 25 tons plus 20 tons for the distribution in Turkey. We are working on the permissions so that this uh, 44 tons is also um, possible in, uh, in, in Turkey. In uh, Spain, it is the tonnage which you just mentioned. It's right, yes. Okay, thank you so for your... So at the moment, the recommendation is to load 25 tons of pure goods on the trucks. Thank you. I think it's very clear. Now, I think uh, this is another question for Ecologistics. What is the total capacity per month can be transformed from Turkey to Spain? Round about 170 trailers. Yeah, and the vessel no, cap total capacity nowadays is 230. Right. Thank you. Now we are passing to the next question. Uh, the question is, I would like to know if we can use this solution for a door-to-door -door transportation from Madrid to Istanbul. And what is the estimated transit time to this route? Yes, of course. And the transit time is uh, quite easy to calculate. We can cal collect on a Monday or Tuesday, uh, even Wednesday morning uh, in Madrid. We would then uh, put the trailer on Wednesday evening um, to the Tarragona vessel, which would arrive on Sunday in uh, Izmir port. We would prepare all customs formalities in, uh, beforehand. Customs clearance, depending if we are allowed to do the custom clearance and consign agree with us, or we can use, of course, the custom agent of the importer in Turkey, but delivery should be Monday, Tuesday. So collection Wednesday, delivery Monday, Tuesday in Istanbul. Okay, thank you. Now the next question is comes for Mrs. Genoveva says, you mentioned that uh, how much weight is up to 44 MT of inland transport. This is the gross weight he believes. Is it right? Yes. That's right. Okay, now we are passing to the next question. Would you please give more detail regarding the service with lots with final destination to Portugal. Turkey via Tarragona, Porto, Portugal. From Port Tarragona, you will answer this question. I think, no, uh, Miguel or, or Alf, you could uh, explain more about those 100. I, you know, in the presentation, we say that in 144 hours, we get to Portugal and uh, no, all the, the way to, to Turkey, but they could give you more information. Yeah, uh, if we speak from Tur we speak from Turkey to Portugal, because it, acoustically I couldn't understand, but I guess it's Turkey, Portugal. So again, it is uh, shipped on the vessel on Sunday uh, evening. We arrive on uh, Tuesday night uh, to Tarragona. And then we make the on carriage to Portugal, where on Thursday would be the delivery. I don't know now exactly the location of Portugal, uh, and I don't know the size of the goods, but if it's a complete load, you can uh, be ensured that uh, this is delivered on a Thursday in Portugal. If it's small parcels or so small pallets, maximum you have to add one day. Because also the big important thing is this is why I mentioned before, Ecole Spain has daily connections to whole Europe. If you, for example, have only one pallet, which is going to, uh, to Portugal, we have a daily service for small groupage from Barcelona and from Madrid daily into Porto and Lisbon. The delivery distribution is done by an excellent company and uh, you can track the POD and the IOD on the web page so that you can have uh, online follow-up of the goods uh, from whichever point you want, from Turkey or from Spain or whoever wants to connect, he would get them the password. 
Okay, thank you. Now the next question comes for all of you. Uh, they are asked if you can uh, share the presentation with them so they can share all of them with Spanish distribution. Yes, I will send it to you, Tarik, and then you can uh, now uh, send them uh, to the attendees. Yes. Okay, so after the webinar, I will want the presentation so uh, people who are interested in, in, in the presentation so we can send to them and also we can send all of our, our, uh, our partners. Yes. So, so we pass to the next question. I see a lot of questions for here. Uh, is there a custom clearance on Tuesday evening in Tarragona include veterinary inspection for fresh fish? When uh, estimated truck clearance after custom clear? In, in Tarragona, uh, as we said, this, the vessel arrives at uh, 22 hours or 23 hours. So no uh, inspection office is open at the, that time. Nevertheless, the, it opens at the next day, Wednesday morning at eight o'clock. And it's uh, on the way of the uh, no, the trailer exit road from the port area. It's just about uh, 250 meters far away from the terminal on the way out of the port. So it's very quickly and easy to get it, uh, the inspection done in the, in the next uh, few hours. Okay, thank you. Now we can pass to the next question. This question is about uh, journeys of ships. How many ships are going to make these journeys per week? I'm asking that due to the possible of not having enough place in the vessels and price go up. Missing up 20% of sales you have spoken about. Here, I think Alfio could help us. No, to, to share their, their vision and the, the call vision no, on this service? You know, in Turkey, I know you say Inshallah. Inshallah, we will have uh, this problem that uh, the, the vessel will be full. Uh, don't worry about that. We started our journey uh, to uh, set at that time also with one vessel, and then we had to increase to a second vessel. These are positive problems, and uh, we hope that we will reach this level. Um, in this moment, this is one vessel which is used for the round trip, but um, with increasing volumes, we would uh, consider to make a second step. This is something we will see all together step by step. And in case there is a, a short shift of, 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 uh, of space, we will advise our customers proactively. So don't worry about service and the and, uh, and uh, space, this will be given. And we have to understand this is a just-in-time service. And we, we are very aware what, what this means. We are working for the main automotive customers, for example. This is why I mentioned before to you, if, you, if the customer help us with all the information we need, you can be ensured that what we collect, for example, even on a Wednesday, Barcelona, Madrid, Valencia, uh, in the main cities, um, Tarragona, of course, is shipped on a Wednesday. And if we talk about the main destinations like uh, Izmir or Istanbul, you can be sure that uh, on Monday it's, uh, it's uh, delivered. But I find very interesting that there are customers which are asking, for example, what is with the veterinary inspection? We have to consider, for example, also ADR, uh, hazardous goods. Uh, are, are uh, normally loaded on this uh, on these vessels. The only thing we need your cooperation in terms of sharing with us the right ADR classes, providing us uh, with the with the ADR documents. But consider, we are a very large organization with some thousand workers, and in Spain, for example, we have 160 employees. The Turkey department is people which speaks fluently uh, uh, Turkish uh, because they are Turkish na native, uh, Spanish and English. Uh, so they are used to have a very proactive communication. 
under the responsibility of Mr. Halil, which is the responsible of the freight uh, for Turkey and all his neighbor countries. Thank you. Now, the next question comes for Port of Tarragona, and they are asking if there's a, a possibility to park the tractor, Cabeza. Uh, we, we can hear you, Mrs. Genoveva. Again, sorry. Um, there is a possibility to, to park the cab uh, when they are getting the cargo, no? The, the, the platform from the terminal and there is a space enough in the terminal. Uh, so to do that. Outside the terminal, in the port area, there are no spaces, but uh, the terminal and the port authority have uh, leaflets with the parking areas nearby the port area, so where you can uh, be waiting or um, just having a rest on your journey. So the question, if I understand, because it's, uh, no, it's, it's too general, but the possibility to park the cab in the port, there is in the terminal when you are getting the cargo, the platform, or you are leaving the platform. Yes, there is a space there. Okay, now the next question comes, I think, for uh, Port Tarragona, and also it will be interesting for Record. If there is another, if there is another uh, service planning in the future between Port Tarragona and Gemlik, Gemlik in in Bursa, the city in Turkey. I think that uh, nowadays there there. Uh... We, this is a very brand new service that we started just one uh, month and a half. We are very focused on that. Of course, the port and the, uh, the different agents involved in this service, if we detect, no, it's, as Alfio said before, if we uh, detect there is more interest and more flows coming and getting to Turkey, don't doubt that we will uh, be able to react and, and to, uh, no? To, to be able to have this service, uh, but nowadays we are very focused on this service to have to make it, uh, you know, increase and uh, make it grow enough so that we can find new solutions for new cargos. Just to adding this, we have a very important branch, Ecol, in Bursa ourselves, uh, knowing uh, the strategic uh, uh, importance uh, in Turkey of this uh, of this city. Our heart, uh, if you allow me to say, as Mr. Atatürk said, uh, Yalova is uh, my city because he was passing his uh, summer holidays there. So we invested in a very important port uh, uh, in Yalova, which I invite you to look in our webpage of Ecol, because this is a port which has more fun functionalities than a normal port. We can do a lot of logistics and customs uh, ourselves in the in the in the yellow port which was even on the turkish news uh, announced uh, when it was opened but we know about the strategy uh, strategic importance of bursa and uh, we never make plans without our friends this is one of the slogans of our of uh, of our founder that means we shape ourselves to our customer needs we don't make this fix uh, plannings without considering what the customer needs. And we, if we see that will be a considerable volume for Gemlik, why not? Izmir in this moment makes all the sense because it's the most Western port in Turkey uh, uh, to connect as fast as possible to Izmir, uh, to Tarragona. And you have to consider that we use the driving times because we carry on uh, goods uh, from Mersin, from uh, the Anatolian area, from wherever. And we, this, this is not by coincidence that we have chosen Izmir. Uh, if it would be of, uh, of pure economic view, uh, Yalova using our own port would have been more sense. But we have chosen Izmir because this gives all the customers in Turkey in all the region the time to finalize their produ production on the weekend. We can use uh, the trucks to carry on till Izmir. But again, we know the Bursa region importance. We have the branch there and uh, we can shape um, any specific solution this customer might have and would be really having a pleasure to have a meeting with them. 
Thank you. And there's another question. It's a short one. I think from Ecole, you would like to respond. The pos possibility to travel as a driver with this row row. The, the vessel is uh, allows 12 uh, drivers on board. Okay, next question we are, we have, is there any electric connection in Tarragona port after discharge? Yeah, the terminal has a uh, electrical uh, flux, so to be, because as, as you saw, uh, the reefer, um, Cargo is allowed, so yeah, the terminal has a, a no flux on the terminal, and of course the vessel has a different services, so to be able to carry the reaper cargo. Okay, thank you. Uh, the question comes for Ecole. The S, can you send us the commercial contact of Ecole in Spain to request a question if it's uh, possible? Yes, of course. Uh, Vanessa, I will send you an email later today. You have, you will have it also in the presentation, huh? But yeah. Okay, thank you. Now another question: By arriving Tuesday evening and Wednesday 8 a.m. start clearance, when the track will be in Barcelona on Wednesday. Of course, yeah. If the clearance is done at eight o'clock. Then I would say that uh, at 10, it could be in Barcelona. Actually, just that you have an idea, we have uh, more or less 80, 80, 80 delivers, deliveries each week into Saragossa, which is, uh, I would say, four or five driving hours from, uh, from Tarragona. Uh, port and the fulfillment has been for I think 400 deliveries in total so far, 100% uh, on Wednesday. So once again, if we have the documentation beforehand, beforehand we can make all the pre preparation and with the su support of the customs, uh, Wednesday is clearance, Wednesday is delivered. This is a standard service. Okay, thank you, I think that's, uh, we are at the end of the questions. I can't see any more questions and it was really helpful. Thank you for all your, all your, all your answers. Yeah, I think we are at the end of the, the question and, and that's about the session. Thank you very much. I would like to uh, thank the Chamber of Commerce uh, our chairman, Mr. Ahmed Musul, is also connected as a listener, and he would like uh, to especially send regards to, to Yasemin, which uh, started uh, supporting us uh, more than seven years now ago, and I think it is, has been a very successful journey. And um, yeah, he believes this is an Oscar-winning award uh, service, and uh, we, we hope we are in the, in the list of uh, the award winners when we will have proven that this has helped uh, Turkey and uh, but also Spain in improving their chances to be competitive in such a challenging world. So thank you, thank you all from, uh, from, from his side as well. I would like to thank everybody for being here today, but I'm, go I'm going to let uh, Yasemin also thank everybody. Yasemin, you're the star of the day. Um, so please have a few words. In, in my case, uh, thank you everybody. It's been a pleasure. Uh, we will share with the information with all our partners and our members. And, uh, and if we receive more questions, we'll be happy to share. But Yasemin, please say the final words. She's the best, I have to say. Well, I'm honored. Um, thank you so much. Uh, thanks a lot for everybody for joining us. Merhaba, uh, Ahmed Bey. I hope you're hearing us as well. I'm very pleased. I mean, uh, that our chamber works for good causes. That we are all gathered here uh, during the whole uh, 
webinaria today, we were around 80 people, which is really, really good. And people are really interested. So I'm pleased that we are doing something good and uh, that creates uh, a networking and synergy between the two countries. And very pleased to learn about this uh, service that Ecole is giving through the port of Tarragona. And uh, uh, thank you so much for all uh, being here and hope to collaborate in future operations and future uh, projects as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yasemin. Thank you very much, Esther. You made a very, very good introduction and uh, it was a pleasure to be your guest. So goodbye from our side. Thank you very goodbye, much. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Take, take care. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.